Within this video, we're gonna go ahead and cover how to import an object in from Sketchfab, as well as how to actually add materials and how to worry about the UVs on said objects after they've brought in. To begin this, we're gonna go ahead and need some kind of a model. Now, I've already got a model set up for you and I'll leave the link in the description, but if you go to Sketchfab and do a quick search for solar system and twin motion, you should be able to find this one pretty easy. So to download this, let's come down here a little ways and you will find a download button right here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And I'll say, hey, what kind do you want to download as? And in this case, go ahead and download the original FBX, but you have a couple options as well. So we'll go ahead and say download. I'll say, where do you want to actually download this thing? I'm going to just drop it in my downloads and say, okay. And that's going to give us a zip file. So that file will look like this. Now I'm just going to right click on this and go ahead and say extract all. And that will go ahead and unzip it. I've already unzipped it. It will be this folder right here. And inside of here, you have a source folder. And inside of the source folder, you have your solar system. Now you all have version two. So yay, you get the upgraded version. And this is what we're going to go ahead and bring into twin motion. And to do that, all we need to do is go ahead and make sure that we are in our import section. And we're just going to click on the import button. So I'll click that and go ahead and grab the file. So say open and we'll navigate to that file. There we go to the solar system one. And we'll go ahead and say open. Now we're going to get a little pop-up box here. Now, these are the settings that I'm using for this specific model. I will warn you now, this model is set up to work very well for this. A lot of the stuff on Sketchfab is kind of sketchy. It doesn't really work this well. So I'll leave this on screen for just a moment longer so you know how to actually set up your import. All right, so we'll go ahead and say import. And yay, it's gone ahead and brought it in. But the question is, where did it go? And actually what it does is it drops it at the zero, zero, zero point in the world. So if you take the camera and you look straight down, you will actually see said object. Now this is a little bit tricky to see. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the far right hand side, open this one up and I can go and select this or the one that's inside of it and press the F key on the keyboard. And then I can frame in on it, which works much better. So now I can kind of zoom in on this just a little bit. Perfect. So let's go ahead and set that off to the side. And at this point we can go ahead and start adding in materials. And the materials that I'm going to use are just the materials here inside of Twin Motion. So let's go over to our library and we'll go up into materials and let's go ahead and choose something like a brick. So we have a real obvious directionality to our textures that we're adding. Now, specifically, what I want to do is I want to add it to the outside rim of this. So this whole section here that actually goes around and I'm going to go ahead and just grab my clean brick and go ahead and drag it on there. And you'll notice we get a section down here that's a little bit weird. And this has to do with the way the UVs were set up when this was actually created. So again, this was set up to actually show some specific things and the UVs aren't too bad, but they're not great either. So let's go ahead and change the way the UVs are actually being pushed onto this object. Now this little button right here, and for me, it's set up as the spherical map and it works okay with spherical, but if I change this, so I'm going to click and hold on it and I go to something like the cubic UVs and I drag a material back on there again, you'll notice you get a very different setup and this looks pretty good. Except if you come to the side, you'll see there's another section that doesn't look so great. It's like, okay, so cubic didn't work really well. Now, this object is essentially a cylinder. So if we go ahead and choose cylinder UVs, and then we drag that on there, you'll notice that we get something a little bit better. Now, we can still get a little bit of stretching in here. But if we go into our scale, and we start to kind of mess with this, maybe it won't matter. Maybe it will, depending on how particular you're going to be. So let's go ahead and change this back to from object UVs. So this uh, will set it up with the UVs that were actually set up on this when it first came in from Maya, which is where I brought it in from. So now if I set this up, you can see we get a little bit better setup. So each one of these is gonna have its pluses and its minuses. Some of them will work really well. Some of them will work awful. Some of them work great. Some of them are just kind of okay. And you'll have to kind of play with these till you get something that you actually like. Or you can set up your UVs properly before you actually come into Twin Motion and get things ready to go. So let's go ahead and add in a couple other materials in here too, because there are some fun things that we can do with this. So if we come down here and what I'm looking for is the water and I do like one of these lake ones and I can put that lake one directly on there. So this one is set up as water. Maybe I want to set that up as the sea, right? And some of this stuff has actually got kind of a transparency to it. I think it's the pool. that's actually the lightest one. There we go. So there's that. So that's excellent. Now, something else that you will notice is that there are certain areas on this object that do work really well for adding a material to in a lot of places. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is set up to cylindrical and I'm gonna go ahead and add one to the outside here. So if I grab this wood siding, there we go. And you'll notice that it adds it to like everything, but it doesn't look so good on the top, right? Well, are we actually gonna see the top? We don't really know, right? So what if we were to actually set this up from object from UVs, 
and drag that on there. It looks a little better. Oh, that actually got the ground. Let's put this on this one. Oh, it's going to fight me today. All right, let's try that one. There we go. Right. So go through and play with some of these, see which ones work best for you. And every object is gonna have its own setups that are going to be more or less painful to kind of deal with. Again, like I said, this one was actually kind of set up to work pretty well. It's not perfect, but it does work well enough to kind of get the points across. So one last one before we go anywhere, let's go and grab a metal. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna drop this on this blue area. There we go. And you'll see that it actually added it here too. Maybe we want this metal to be right here as well. There you go. So there you have it. Something to definitely watch for when you're importing things is how were the UV set up originally? And then also where the materials were actually set up across each of the polygon sets on your actual objects.